gentlemen. Uh, Dr. Tessie Thomas, very good to see you again. Uh, we met last week and I've been wondering what I should ask you on this platform. So let me start with the question that I should have asked you last week. What is it like to be called the Missile Woman of India? I think uh, I had uh, 36 years working for this missile program. And, uh, and someone uh, like with the appreciation has named this. Uh, it, it, I don't know where and when it got uh, came into my this thing. And I've, since maybe the work, the type of uh, work which has been carried out for the missile field, uh, I was working for the Agni class, the long range uh, guidance scheme, first of its kind in the world, we can say, which is very adaptive for all long range uh, systems. So that is where uh, the missile women would have come. <laughs> That's the way I take it. Wonderful. You were preparing for the IAS. You wanted to be a civil services officer. What made you change direction? Actually, after doing my, completing my B.Tech, uh, options are either IAS, IES. Uh, that's the way we looked, HAL. So uh, I didn't even get time because by the time the advertisement for this uh, DRDO sponsored program, MTech program, 10 students will be selected all across the country. There was a written test. So I went uh, for writing that. I got selected in that before my B.Tech results came. So I didn't have any option to go and take up anything else. And moreover, that time, IITs were giving a, a scholarship of 1,000 rupees. And the present DIT or IIT, the Armament Institute, was offering 1,200. So always you, that uh, age, we know only to rate uh, that way. That's the way I took up uh, that opportunity and went for this uh, guided missile program uh, as MTEC course. That's a very uh, interesting reason to have chosen what you did. Was there any doubt uh, in your mind or in your family? Because this is not, you know, we say that, that the sky is the limit for, the, for, for women everywhere in the world. You've shown that even the sky is not the limit. But when you started off, did you think that this is the best move for you? And looking back, uh, were there points in your journey where you thought that you may not have made the best choice? Was there a turning point? I think I didn't have time to think about whether I made a best choice. The first 20 years, including the MTEC program, we didn't look at the outside world. And once I came to DRDL uh, laboratory at Hyderabad, it's like uh, I was selected for the Agni program. We don't even talk to anyone on what we are actually working for. Almost 15 years, nobody knew where I am. Even my friends also, I have lost. Uh, touch with many of my friends also because the way uh, the programs were uh, streamlined that we are not supposed to talk about where we were working. So that's the way. <laughs> no regrets because it's uh, for the, uh, I, we know the importance, national importance uh, of this and the responsibility what has been put to us. So keep working, that was the ultimate uh, aim in our life. <laughs> Absolutely, and you've inspired so many, so many women. Uh, when we talk about women empowerment and what needs to be done to get more women into the workforce and into leadership roles, we've been discussing STEM education. Um, what is your message to girls who want to pursue science as a career? Yeah, uh, actually when I joined the organization, it was hardly less than 3% uh, women, uh, girls were joining. Today, the trend has changed. 15 to 18 percent uh, women work as scientists. And that's really encouraging. And today, because of the awareness that uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, mathematics are uh, easy to learn, I feel uh, now the younger generations, because I have a lot of interaction with the school children as well as college students. They feel uh, really motivated to take up this. If uh, ordinary person doing engineering like me can come and uh, work on uh, uh, this scientific field. Any present generation is with a lot of knowledge around. We had only the textbook knowledge, what we learned, 
but today the whole knowledge is around and we need to uh, only think and uh, the inner uh, inner desire to do this work in this field and science uh, stem subjects are equally uh, easy as any other subjects that's what i feel i i know uh, uh, scientists from my friend from isro also will vouch for that i think if once you learn it's uh, you only fear what you do not know but once you learn you know everything that's the way the knowledge uh, helps us in uh, going ahead a big round of applause for that you only <laughs> fear what you do not know um, <laughs> Uh, Dr. Thomas, I'm sure uh, leadership is difficult both for men and women, especially for women. And in a field where there are very few women colleagues and leaders, were there moments in your career where you felt dejected and then you thought, "I will show it to them and I will do it"? Do you have such stories? Yeah, maybe when I was designated for project director Agni Four. Like uh, we had done Agni One. Uh, agni 2 and agni 3 that was a different class of technology where existing technologies with the uh, uh, rocket motor casing metallic ones were used but uh, world across had a different uh, type of uh, picture altogether then i was asked to see like uh, agni 3 with 50 ton we are reaching only 3000 kilometers world across were uh, claiming 3500 and so with that type of uh, weight launch mass when i gone through the technology we have to uh, enter into composite uh, rocket motor casing composite technology where which was even the carbon fiber the material raw material needed for that was not available in the country so this was the time uh, i was given the task of developing a system of world class where weight reduction also has to be there and uh, initially uh, the mandate was if we may change the one of the stage of the rocket motor we may be able to achieve but uh, the things were not that uh, easy as it looked that's where i, I was thinking uh, at one point of time i was not sure the responsibility what was shouldered on me i thought it is uh, it's easy but it was not so so we had to go through the development of composite rocket motor technology Uh, prove its capability design and uh, test it and then take it uh, into the as a rocket motor casing and uh, finally when uh, the efforts of after 4 years we could achieve uh, with 22 ton as a launch mass uh, launch capability up to 4000 that is how agni 4 came up <laughs> fantastic fantastic story yeah. what is it that motivates you dr thomas it's like we work for technologies first of its kind uh, which is not available within the country as far as uh, we call it uh, innovative or all the technologies what we need uh, so uh, it's like uh, it's the challenge what comes to us or the opportunity given to us to do something new definitely we had lot of uh, great visionaries like dr apj abdul kalam they all had a great vision of what our country should have as a defense capability what our government uh, tells us what we need to make systems systems so these are the things input which comes to us and then we look for what is the world class or beyond something totally uh, innovative which doesn't exist in anywhere in the world so that's how the agni class of guidance law where i was the designer for this agni class of systems first of its kind in the world we can say and systems of world class has been made for agni 4 and same technology was adapted for agni 5 that's how we it's the need of the nation or the requirement for our countries and the responsibility given to us that makes us uh, motivated as defense scientists how does how does your team align with you when you you know you know take up this project which is which is a matter of pride not just for you and your organization but it's something that your entire country is looking at at you for you know delivering on something like this um is it is it the same as a woman to to pull it off actually i was fortunate to have a very young team uh, working for the agni 4 
Uh, in the project group, we were five uh, project group, but all across the country, from different missile, um, all the labs, DRDO labs, plus industry. So uh, more than a thousand people work as a scientist for one of the systems in the initial development. So uh, that is like, if all of them are coming out to work, and all of them are inspired to work for the country, then that gives us the, uh, all of us the uh, guidance. It's a team, it's a leader. Leader is only one person who is just uh, be there as a team leader, but it's the whole participation of all the scientists working towards uh, realizing a project. And that's, that's also something that is said of women, women leaders, they, they foster a collaborative working environment. Uh, we have women like you, women achievers in the field of science and technology. We've had some before, and yet this field remains dominated by men. What will it take to have more women um, enter this field and excel in it? What is your message to them? Yeah, today itself the difference has already been uh, seen. Like uh, when I joined, as I mentioned, very few were there. Today, most of our senior women uh, leaders, they are either a technology leader or a project director. And many have come up to take that because they also need, I mean, few uh, women show the path, they, uh, they come, they get guided towards. And uh, I think it's easy as any other. If men can do, women also can do. There's nothing which is stopping us from doing that. Absolutely. Maybe I'm good. As, as, as a leader, what have you done to build that pipeline for, for more, more women to sort of take up these roles and, and to lead projects like you have done? I see as a uh, team leader, we need to first uh, understand the real responsibility what we are into. Once the team members understand this is the importance and I think they are all geared together to work together for this. And uh, even if me as a team leader, some, sometimes when we go through a testing of a missile, once it is prepared, it takes more than uh, 14 to 18 hours of test continuously. And maybe setup is made ready, it becomes afternoon. It goes way late into the late hours. But then my team members, they say, don't stop it, we will continue. We may end at three o'clock at the early morning, but all the team members, that the spirit of the uh, whole team members, that we'll complete. Otherwise, uh, it, there's no excuse for doing things of this national importance. I think all of them are so much motivated and inspired. And we all work for technologies which is unknown to us. So it's uh, the avionics, the electronics part was going through a lot of uh, changes, revolutions, digital uh, technologies like uh, analog systems to digital computers came. So we had a lot of uh, innovative and learning for the first time was always there. So they were all spirited enough to learn and we're together working. I don't, uh, scientists don't give up. So they continue working throughout. That's the way we do. What does the Missile Woman of India do when she's not it? designing missiles or thinking of them? Now those uh, tough days of uh, my life, I get back, switch on the TV and watch the TV, drain out whatever was in my mind, see like uh, who is wearing good saris. So that was the uh, one thing which used to relieve me from all my tensions. Then I was, uh, I didn't have any, uh, any complaint of cooking, so I used to cook my own food. That's the way I used to spend time. Little time in some badminton or something like that. That's the way I used to have uh, life. My husband uh, was from the Navy, uh, so he was also posted somewhere outside. So, but whenever they were here with me, uh, great support as family. So we were, uh, uh, my son also, very understanding. So that way, uh, we all together made it, we can say. Very inspiring story. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Thomas, you. for speaking to us and for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause to Dr. Tessie Thomas. And I'm going to request Palki to please present a token of our uh, gratitude to Dr. Tessie Thomas, the Shi Shakti plate. And that makes for a very nice picture. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Palki. Thank you so much, Dr. Tessie Thomas, for making the effort and coming. Thank you, man. Lovely to meet you. Thank you.